Hello, hello, it's me Morris back again with another day of uh, meta-analysis and team highlight for Axiom and Trinity Origins. Today is, well, roughly mid-season, day uh, 35 or something. And uh, yeah, now you can see, well, uh, a lot of well, new stuff coming up. Uh, well, having said that, the, the top is still uh, mostly Angler's Angerish uh, Beast build, but you do see something new coming up, right? And I feel like Gaia's Embrace is really the rune that has really been coming up quite a bit um, and the other one is definitely collect and protect and I'll talk about those two uh, in basically this top build here Long Su has really been yeah I've been watching this it's very consistent uh, uh, team and uh, yeah I'll definitely well, do a team highlight for this particular team but before that let me just scroll through and see what you get at the top and uh, yeah, you can start to see the um, guys embrace uh, it mainly because it really gives you a lot of uh, survivability, giving you 50 um, health for each axe, right? So that's 150 health in total. And basically it takes basically two to three hits right? extra. Um, so it's pretty crazy, I would say. Um, and that's why you see quite a bit of that coming up. Not just in the uh, beast build, even though the beast build, I feel like it's still going to be the dominant one. Uh, but maybe not with Pendulum Scale, just because you do have other stronger runes, in this case, the triple mystic runes, that probably will be the end game build. Um, and you do see some uh, sustain kind of thing as well, but yeah, so I think Gloomy Dice is really making a, yeah, um, yeah, a good, I would say comeback is a, yeah, a good inclusion to the meta as well, which to be honest, very annoying to play against. I might um, do a um, review of this sometime. Um, let me just continue to scroll through how it is at the top, and uh, you can see the top is flooded with uh, Beast and a bit of uh, Dawn Sustain kind of thing. Um, yeah, do get a poison. Yeah, so maybe gonna do one of these uh, if it goes up even more. Um, yeah, so so I would say one thing that uh, I've played uh, obviously not at this level of uh, top uh, 100, but even if you get pretty high up and you find yourself a challenger, if you're at mid to high challenger, it's gonna be quite tough to climb right your win rate has to be above 70 percent i throw because right, every time you win you win maybe a few points but every time you lose you lose like 15 20 points right so you are really uh the win rate has to be very very high uh, in order to, to stay at the top um okay just let's see what else is out there so you do see some aqua stuff still but uh, i think it's gonna be outclassed by um, the beast and you know, the, the sustain with all the um, uh, all these mystic runes and uh, yep you do see this combination that uh, we've talked about uh, previously holy prayer and shady exchange I think will probably climb up a bit I feel um, but we'll see uh, um, okay so this is pretty much the meta you don't see that much of uh, other things unfortunately um, so mostly just sustain double aqua still hanging on there and mostly it's the beast um yeah so i'm just trying to see what else is out there that could be so yes you do see like some leafy stuff but unfortunately you can see uh, it's, it's dropping down it's uh, gonna be a bit rough um i've actually seen one uh, leafy with a uh, gaia uh, which could be good as well but maybe against the top build it's gonna be yeah tough and uh, very interesting oh uh I, uh keep an eye on this team as well um using the shield backup which you haven't seen before and, and it is climbing quite a bit meaning they are doing something pretty strong here right uh, with the extra energy keeping all the shields and maybe it's just impossible to get through this so do want to uh, left look at that at some point um yeah especially wait for this to climb up a bit more i feel like it is going on a, a big climb and yeah so that is basically the top 100 and uh yeah so you do see a bit of the um, yeah, shield backup finally, some max action going on as well. So, yeah, finally, we do see pretty much uh, all the uh, classes. Um, you see the dawn, you see the dust, you see a mech coming up as well. I think I see a poison somewhere. Uh, yeah, a poison, um, a bird actually, not that much, but you still see some birds as well. And bug, right? I think the key part of today is really seeing the bug. 
um, yeah, plants has always been there, but yeah, bees has always been there. But yes, so happy to see that there is some innovation here. And uh, before I get into this team, i uh, just going to look at the runes and charms uh, very quickly just to see how the market is like. And uh, yeah, you can see Anna's Anger is still very, very expensive. I think oh, this actually kind of gone up, I think, because people are seeing the value of the guy Embrace. Um, so yeah, this definitely gone up a bit as well. And then the rest is, I would say, similar. Um, and let's look at the charms. So uh, I must say most of the Mystic Charm, unfortunately, is not really like uh, used that much. Um, or rather, it's not very expensive. The main one is Scotch Tape. This is crazy for uh, all the beast build where you get to keep either your, um, basically, your key cards, right? So key cards could be a current tail, but it could also be a confident. Right, so keep putting this on is um, very important. Uh, Pre-order tech could also be important. Right, uh, something that I would say is okay. Pre-order tech, what it does is that it gives innate, and uh, innate is very important because uh, it actually um, increases the consistency of your, you know, your 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 place. Right, in the sense that you always start with something. Um, is is I would say very strong, and at the very top level, if you're playing on ladder. And consistency is the key to success, I feel, because you have to win probably even 80% of your matchup at least in order to stay at the top. Um, and that's why, um, okay, I'm going to talk about this in a bit, but Secret Cocoon, right, um, look out for this particular uh, charm. And because it adds innate, it also doesn't actually uh, affect the stats as well, which is, uh, I'm not sure why, because uh, Plants has a, basically the same... Um, um, yeah, kind of charm, but with a stat minus ten. So yeah, I'm not sure why the death. I like, think the bug deserves more of uh, more more love, but that's why it is. Um, but in terms of the rest, it's actually not that much. Uh, more, not you know, uh, doesn't really sell that much. Um, I would say these three. Uh, Secret egg, interestingly, is actually uh, pretty strong because it's innate still, right? So you can see, right, getting the consistency can be key, right? For example, you might want innate, uh, so you can start off with a particular card, um, then maybe like get the feather stack or whatever you want to do. Um, and okay, so putting vulnerable. Uh, very important I feel um, as well even though Aqua doesn't have that much AOE but still um, doesn't have to be AOE to be honest like just doing vulnerable um, for four turns for a single attack could be very strong and um, yeah and then retain yeah, this one I actually don't know how it's played but maybe we'll look out for that so yeah that is pretty much it so yeah let's just get into Long Su's team and um, yeah, so I will just do it very quickly here and because uh, I'll probably explain most of those things uh, in games just because actually most of the uh, well, the power level of this team is really about the um, the runes and the charms and it's better to see it actually in game when I go into the battle. But before that, let's just quickly go through this first. Um, so this is the Angus Anger, like the, the back. So um, I think Cleanser is a very interesting inclusion here. Uh, but the rest is pretty you know, standard, tiny dino, very strong. Um, and then this bug is really the key, right? It's the MVP, I feel. Um, because uh, it applies taunt, so you actually want to do that at the beginning. And um, looking at the opponent's card could be interesting. Yeah, this gives you a, um, uh, a way to gain energy as well. Um, but yeah, I'll actually talk about the, this bug a lot more when I actually get into the game. Um, so let's just look at the front, which is space is a plant that is basically a beast in the sense that you can see it's just a typical beast uh, support beast kind of thing. All right, it has innocent lamb, it has confident um, corn tail. Uh, so these three cards are very good for supporting the Anna's anger stuff, and then you have little piece as well, Ronan for insane damage, little branch for getting more rage. Uh, so pretty crazy, but uh, the fact that it is a plant means that. Um, it can use the guy's embrace, which basically gives this whole team um, plus 50 uh, health, uh, HP, as long as this is alive, right? And you'll see how it's very interesting that like uh, you you might you won't expect this to go at the front, so this is the front, right? Um, but you'll see why later on. Um, let's just actually get into a game and see how this one goes. Um, maybe let's just go into this. Oh, the other thing I should um, 
talk about first is you can see right the wind weight has to be extremely high oh my goodness right so you can see it's very 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 uh consistent kind of team um, and you can see right winning four games uh it's the same as pretty much like losing one game right every time you lose one game you lose like 15 points you win one game it's four points so uh, three points even um so basically you have to win f um well if you lose one you have to win four to get back the points which I think is a bit insane, but it is what it is in terms of the ELO and that how, how, you know, like once you are at the very top. Um, but yeah, insane win right here, uh, as you can see. So let's actually just jump into a game. Uh, maybe let's just go into like the typical kind of matchup with like a, uh, a aggro team and see how this game. I think this, this team, I think, definitely kills aggro team. Uh, against sustain, uh, you know kind of how it goes, right? Uh, this is a typical rage uh, beast build that bursts uh, down the opponent. But let's just see how this one goes. Um, okay, so uh, let's put the video here because I do want to talk about the runes and charms. So uh, first of all, guys and praise, right? It's very simple. Increase allies axes by fifty. As long as this is alive, right? Actually, when this goes down, then this buff won't be um, applicable anymore. So that's why you do want to keep this alive for for a bit, um, and then yeah, this one the only well the main interesting one is actually the scotch tape here. So you do have a, a way to keep this extra energy, and of course, actually, what happens is when you do innocent lamb into the corn tail, you also get that uh, charm as well. So meaning you can actually actually keep two uh, corn tail in your hand till whenever you need it so that's pretty crazy uh, giving you a lot of consistency in terms of um, you know uh, just wait for the right moment to use your extra energy when I say right moment of course it means when you're in rage mode uh, or fury mode so uh, let's look at the back and then I'll talk about a lot about the mid so at the back here um, it's uh, actually I would say pretty standard except that it actually uses a lot of the attack uh, uh, runes I think um, actually not really um, so actually the charms I mean um, so actually not nothing too exciting except for um, the cleanse which could be interesting um, and I think yeah let's just talk about where yeah, Anna's and everybody knows how it works already at this point uh, I think let's just talk about the mid and this is the most interesting of this whole team and it's collect and protect so what happens is that during odd rounds, you draw an extra card and that's very important, right? So you can see why uh, you want to keep the extra energy because you do get extra card draw as well. So basically you have extra energy, you have extra card draw, you can just deal insane burst damage. And that's for odd rounds so and every other round basically. And then for every another round, so right, every even rounds, it gain 50 shield. So it's also a very good way of keeping uh, itself alive. Okay, but that this is not the main thing uh, to be honest. Okay, this is a thing, but I feel like these combination of cards and runes and well, the charms is the important one. So let's just talk at uh, just look at the the this ants card first. So it applies taunt to itself, meaning um, yeah, it will just get hit. Uh, you want this to have taunt because you do want your opponent to hit the, onto this one first, so you protect the back and the front. Okay, so and having this particular uh, charm, what it does is that it gives it innate, so meaning you always start your game with this card, and this really increases the consistency so much, right? So you basically keep your back and keep your front alive uh, for at least like the first few turns. So against aggro, there's just not much the aggro team can do, right? Um, okay, so. Uh, this is the main one, I would say, but you can see the other two as well. So these two zero cost card also very key in a way uh, because it is a card draw. Okay, so because because of this particular um, charm here, which basically draws you a card. Uh, and basically it's a zero cost draw one card. You do get to see your opponent's draw power, which I must say is a very, can be very good uh, for very strong player, meaning it's a very high, uh, high skill cap I feel right so because depending on like what the opponents might draw you might want to play differently as well um, okay and then this one also so scry two cards right, is also very strong as because you get to choose or discard um, 
which card you don't want to draw. Alright, so again, increasing the consistency of the play. Um, both of these having banish is also very strong, so you get to the, the, the important cards that you want, and basically playing these out, drawing more cards, and yeah, it just rotates, this get through your deck a lot faster, and it could potentially gain you one energy as well, just because you do have a lot of card draw, uh, as, yeah, of, of, uh, from the rune. Um, and I'll say Tiny Turtle, all those are more just for support, um, target any enemy also good for support and probably also good for sust against sustain as well. Heal block, yeah. It's just, I feel like sustain can't really deal with this. Um, yeah, and also yeah, there's a lot of ways to look at opponent's draw, but of course this in a way is just a very high attack card. Okay, let's just jump into how it actually plays out. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you can see right, getting the corn tail right, and you can see the the scotch tape here. Right, keeping the corn tail. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, and also playing the card as well, so you can see the end, right, so the opponents just have to hit into it. Um, you can see the HP very high because of Gaia's Embrace. Um, yeah, actually, uh, I'll pause for a moment just to quickly look at the opponent's team as well, but it is a very standard, um, I would say, uh, Beast Aqua Aqua team, maybe like having the Oranda is the one that would be interesting. Uh, not relying on the bubble as well, so um, maybe one of the lower ranks team, not too sure. Um, but let's see, because usually I think the higher teams probably have the bubbles, but okay, let's just continue and see how this one goes. Opponents actually having, um, okay, not a bad turn, you know, just dealing a lot of attacks, so you can see, right, still have the taunt here because it's for four turns and getting the shield is basically like extra shield right um, so very strong now is already at seven stack and uh, because of the extra HP as well opponent is very difficult to get through um, yeah just not enough I feel um, with the bloodlust um, so you can see the opponents yeah basically doing what they can pretty much and still surviving at four but to be honest I don't think surviving matters too much at this point uh, because you can see a lot of card crazy, right? Because of the extra card. And here you can see, right, it's uh, using this card to draw into um, the next card. And also, of course, just have, have a look at what opponents will draw as well. Um, okay, so again, the free mode already of the confident. Okay, a lot of damage. Um, yep, so this crazy damage. Still have uh, a lot of uh, free extra energy. So two axes gone already at this point. Is this crazy, right? And then as uh, finish off with a Ronin. Yeah, it's like you can see it's like turn five. Um, yeah, the Ronin from this, but still, yeah, it's right enough to to finish it off already. Um, yeah, and the opponent has nothing like nothing much they can do. So this is pretty much how this um goes. Very fast game as well. That's why I can grind very very quickly to get to the top. So let's just see another game. Um, maybe let's just uh, look at the one with like against uh, this kind of uh, rage team and then see how this one goes. And I'm actually trying to look for someone that um, probably has a higher ranking. So because I'm just looking at how much it gains, all right? Um, so let's say maybe this one. Um, let's see how this one goes. Uh, so plus four. Uh, plus 6 is going to be a uh, sustain, which uh, is going to take a while. And this one is also interesting, but uh, but we've already looked at this matchup. So let's just look at how this one goes against uh, the more typical rage build. And let's see. Okay, so um, let me pause it here again. Uh, so you can see, right, uh, it always starts with the taunt because of the innate. And interestingly, the innate actually puts... Uh, actually, no, no, no. Uh, it is like drawing extra card, right? So I think in all turns, which is like turn one, draws you an extra card. Uh, but in most cases doesn't matter because you're going to play the end. Um, so let's see what the opponent does. So it's typical Shiba, Tiny Dino. A lot of people playing Tiny Dino at the back. And yeah, typical support uh, mid as well. So yeah, so it's, I would say, pretty standard. Let's just see how this one plays out. Um, okay, getting the confident as well, and yeah, so it's uh, always the same play in a way. Um, yep, just taunting, so basically just take all the attacks, and then allow the back to do the damage. And this also denies a lot of the backdoor kind of uh, strategy as well, because can't really hit this. Um, 
yeah, and by now already six um, stacks. Um, okay, so actually not bad. Uh, the opponents have quite a decent chance if they get a Sheba or something. Um, yep, so get a Sheba, you know, get a lot of stacks up. Um, confident gaining, yeah, so I'm not too sure. Yeah, the confident. Actually, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good play, right? You can see uh, you managed to use up. But of course, the problem is then that you already used up all your stacks and this one's going down. And uh, yeah, I feel like you can't really get through these uh, at this point. I'm going to use the Ronin as well um, from the front. That's my as well. So you can see it's still very healthy um, opponent in terms of the health total. Is this, and even the stacks, they haven't even used these stacks yet. Um, so just see if the opponent manages to actually get to um, the stacks and no opponents really just trying to deal as much damage as possible uh, kill this one actually deals 50 damage to this as well because of this rune but yep here it is okay uh, fury mode just whack whack and then um, yeah, let's do the ronin they gonna do anything with the yep innocent lamb just keeping the extra energy here I would assume oh even using it as a shield as well um, shooting the front, I would assume. Yep, okay. But I feel like the f um, this will probably go down at this point. But you can see the, the, the HP difference is so large. Um, okay, using two energy, get through that. And then put in a vulnerable, which is a, uh, I'm not too sure if that was the right place because they do have the cleanse. So vulnerable doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, maybe Ronan was a better play just to do a bit more damage. But yeah, so. Actually, a pretty good draw just to finish it off because uh, otherwise, maybe the opponents will be able to finish them off last, um, in the next turn. So, um, yeah, so in this case, actually, I would say Rage rage kind of team could could be quite close, um, but depending on how the Rage stacks lines up. So let's just watch a game where it uh, can kind of go the other way. And I um, actually want to see this one because this one is interesting. Um, because Rage Rage, you can see kind of how it can be pretty close. But yeah, this one, um, yeah, is this have an aqua too? Like, the, the build itself is already interesting. So I, uh, given that it's actually minus 16, right? Meaning um, it's uh, probably quite a low ranked opponent as well, because uh, if it's high rank, you won't lose as much points. Um, let's just see how this one goes. And the opponent, um, yeah, okay. So it's typical aggro, it just looks like, right? Uh, nothing too exciting. It's really just a typical aggro team. Um, yeah, and and I would say not with the most optimal of build as well. So I'm not too sure what just happened here. So let's see. Um, because I would assume, right, this uh, like Long Su's team can't really lose against um, an uh, aggro team like this. But let's see. Um, yeah, opponent managed to do quite a bit of damage. In turn, um, yeah, the round one, just the typical three at three energy attack kind of thing. Um, but now they get another fifty shield here, right? So, yeah, it's gonna be very hard to get through. Uh, so not too sure. So now seven stacks already. So not too sure how the opponents actually manage to get through this one. Um, I guess risky fish is one way, right? Dealing an insane damage, um, and then for a double nut crack or something, um, just to yeah. That will not crack enough for the KO. Okay, so now actually it's like kind of three on one, uh, three on two at this point. Um, having two beasts here, um, getting the confident, but I guess yeah, the damage doesn't actually the damage done up pretty well, right? Um, okay, but have to use the fear remote just to get through the front. Um, so it's basically a two on two at this point, uh, but the opponents does uh, get to go first and yeah, getting a vulnerable. Um, yeah, I think putting the days and other things in might disrupt the draw enough. Um, okay, so opponents doing pretty good damage. So I think uh, it is possible to get through this kind of team, but it just have to be, uh, yeah, they don't draw as well. And in this case, couldn't really get to the rage stacks that they want. I think that's the problem. Uh, using the extra energy here, um, not enough to even KO this Axie. Yep, uh, use extra energy as well, just to use the sword. Because uh, at this point, actually, I feel like um, the opponent probably is in the lead. Just because when you kick down this Axie, this Axie is also going to um, be at 50 uh, health lower. 
right, as you can see here right so yeah you can see right the um actually a lot lower so i feel like yeah this is in range for another three hits and there's no way in which um i think yeah long su can deal enough damage and yeah so just hoping to set up for the, the yeah for the kill next turn which is a very heads up play i mean it's a very strong player as well you can see right not everyone can make that play i feel um yeah but vulnerable oh just enough with the nutcracker yeah so um yeah with the vulnerable nutcrack and uh yeah that's ggs so you can get through this kind of team you just have to be you know have to draw well and um yeah and for them to not basically ko your two front two axi in in turn five or something okay so a very good demonstration of how this team goes and potentially how you might be able to beat it uh yeah but the consistency has to be so like so good and this is basically like how the highest of level have to be okay so of course i know that other people have uh, probably um highlighted this team but um i would say my my unique take of it is that it, it it at the highest level it is all about consistency right so last 50 games win 43 so this is the kind of consistency you have to be in order to get to the top Okay, so this is probably a quite long episode, so I'll call it a day for now. So thank you for joining, and I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed my video, do consider giving me a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, and use my Lenorian code MORRIS. Thanks again, and have a good one.